Okay, so hopefully this might be able to help uh, some people who have a, or just buying, just going to get a Sun SDR 2DX. Um, well, I've just updated my PC, so I thought I'd get a, um, a lot faster one uh, to run the Sun SDR. Because uh, I already had um, a PC using it before. And when I was doing some, let's say, browsing or um, video editing or, or whatever, um, the audio, you could hear it. Um, it was just not powerful enough to do everything at once. And um, when I actually was looking at the uh, Sun SDR uh, software or expert software, um, you could actually see that I was using around about anything up to about 50% of the CPU usage uh, just on that program. And then, so it goes anything from about 12% all the way up. It just depends what I was doing at the time. So, using a browser or a video editing uh, piece of software uh, where I wanted to do a screen grab of uh, live um, audio or just to see what's actually on the band. So, that's why I updated uh, my PC. Um, six cores, 12 threads, 32 gig of RAM, blah, 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 all the rest of it. So, um, I did that. As you see, it's now there. And um, it works brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. I don't have no problems whatsoever. But I did, when I was actually trying to get the software to work, or acknowledge that... Um, the Sun SDR uh, radio was actually connected to it. So when I went through the software or loaded it up first, it actually came up. Let's just load it up on here. Because uh, I've just got to get another uh, cable for that monitor. Um, because the, the output on the back of my new graphics card um, doesn't have RGB. Or the normal uh, connection for that so I've got to get uh, another cable for HDMI um, next right so I could actually go onto the software as you can see it just there so I'd go into options go to uh, device and on there you'd click discover so, let me just uh, try and get rid of any shine on the screen. I think it's my camera pouring out the light. Uh, always likes to. Right, so what I used to do, or what I did get, this is up till yesterday. It took me about between three and five hours uh, trying to sort it out. Um, I got this come up. And as you can see there, it's just saying that uh, the software can actually talk or see the radio. But I had uh, three on there. So with the last time I needed some help setting it up, I spoke to Roman, or had some emails from him anyway. And he said, right, if you get in something like that, i.e., coming up and saying it's found whatever transceiver then it's down to the firewall so I went into the firewall settings turned everything off all the firewalls were off and everything and um, did 192.168.16.50 um, you'll see some of the, the uh, other videos uh, somebody actually going in from uh, so, uh, one of the emporiums and you were getting told that you put that in and that's just the base um, IP address to actually go in and find the radio so that's what I did so I did all of that got the base IP 
went through uh, firewalls everything as I say it took between three and five hours and what I was actually getting I in the end I got four icons come up saying that four different connections to the radio which was fine but when I clicked on them it wouldn't actually come up and say or give the information for um, the radio itself so I knew that it wasn't talking to it properly it actually found the IP address blah 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 but wasn't talking to the radio correctly so the results were um, I went through one of the um, quick setup uh, PDF files had a look at that and in the end I thought okay instead of using the, the uh, default um, IP address to get the um, radio talking to the software and then the software acknowledging the radio and then coming up and then giving the information I'll show you that in a couple of seconds or a minute or so um, I put instead of 192.168.16.50 I actually put 192.168.16.198 or 189 198, 189, whichever one it was, doesn't really matter. So you just change it from the base one or the default one that you actually get told to actually use. So I did that and it actually came up and worked. It actually found it, i.e. like it come up just with what now. Did that. Because um, uh, in the end, when I was taking three to five hours, sent an email to Roman saying I need some help can you do some uh, uh, remote into my PC and uh, have a look see if it is the firewall because I was going through every single thing I could actually think of um, I set everything up correctly um, let me think all the firewalls were off and once you actually talk to it um, I'd, I'd already set the firewalls and turned them all back on so all the firewalls were back on, then I thought, okay. So firewalls off, firewalls back on, firewalls off, firewalls back on. That's what I was doing for hours, trying to find out what it could be. And when I did that, 192.168.16.198, uh, as I say, I think it's 198, uh, changed it to something like that. It actually uh, went straight through, even with the firewalls on, and um, talked to it not spoke to it and what I got let me just come off that now so you go into hopefully you can see where my mouse is it says SDR info you click on that and this is where you know that um, your radio is talking to the software so when you get that up then you know you've done it so when that come up I was so relieved I had to send another email to Roman and say no sorry I don't need no help thanks very much got it sorted told Roman what my uh, problem had been let's just turn it on let's turn my amp on and get some signals there you go let's turn the audio off so fully working and as you can see at the bottom 0 to 1% CPU usage so you do need a powerful PC right as you can see there I've got the software running let me just put the volume up and move this across there So that's um, the software running. Let's get rid of that. Um, I can also put a browser on. So that's the browser on. Let's get rid of that one because it's not got a lot on there. Uh, let's put this browser on. So, as you can see, even when I'm loading different pieces on the browser there is no problem with 
um, any audio because the audio used to go down a little bit on quality used to crackle and that and I'm still using zero one up to three maximum up to three percent so if you're thinking about getting a, a Sun SDR uh, 2 it's just uh, put that on standby sorry because you can do everything with a keyboard well not everything but um, I've done it where all I do press one audio goes off or comes on press one again audio goes off so as, as I'm saying if you're gonna go for a Sun SDR uh, 2 DX I don't know whether they're all the same I'm just going on this radio because that's what I've got if you do go for one of these radios uh, then make sure you've got a powerful-ish computer uh, whether it's a Mac uh, or a PC or whatever you're going to use for it make sure it's powerful um, at least six cores uh, 16 gig of RAM um, I went a little bit further and got the 32 gig uh, just for anything I'm going to use it's powerful enough to do anything I need video, video editing browsing uh, playing whatever games if you want I don't do games anymore but um, yeah fully working no problem whatsoever and that was my problem um, always check regarding uh, the IP addresses because um, when I first uh, actually bought the radio and was setting it up that way um, I did have a problem with uh, uh, the firewalls and uh, doing the firewalls, setting them all up or turning them off and everything, that got it all working and then I uh, made sure that in Windows 10, because that's what I'm using at the moment, Windows 10 Pro um, you actually set the app up because that's what they call them now because it's Windows so you set the app up so it actually goes through the firewall as private um, or um, open are you using it in your private house or it's open um, like you're in uh, outside in a cafe or something like that so it just depends how you actually set your firewall up I don't I did it for both um, but the firewalls are on for both as well so it's uh, only the ports I want to set to go through that's all I go through so that was my first problem I thought with this one it would be a little bit uh, easier because I did it uh, the first time uh, but no um, there's lots of things that you need to check and this is why I'm doing this video just in case you do get to this part and you get stumped uh, using the uh, standard IP of 192.168.16.50 like it says in the manuals get quick get started or you see on some of the videos if that doesn't work try a different IP address 192.168.16.198 because it says don't use 200 or I think 255 or something like that so use anything else except for the uh, the standard IP of uh, 1650 at the end and hopefully um, you'll get it sorted so as I say instead of wasting three to four five hours of your life trying to set the radio up hopefully this video might have given you a little bit of an insight of changing the IP address that's all I wanted to do if it helps somebody uh, get the radio up and running brilliant because the Sun SDR radios are absolutely fantastic you can do so much with this radio and this software it's absolutely brilliant same as the Flex, Flex are brilliant as well it's your choice what you want to go for I've got a Flex, I've got one of these and I like both uh, but I don't like paying uh, extra money for software updates when I've paid quite a bit of money for the radios so there's a, a new update coming out uh, soon hopefully for this towards the end of the year or beginning of next year and that's even going to be better than the software that's uh, out at the moment for it it's fantastic what it does now uh, but for what they can actually install within the software is even better 
and it's uh, very good or very easy to actually setting up um, logbook programs for this software as well so hopefully it's uh, helped you if it hasn't fine if it has good or just give it a like give it uh, a dislike it's down to you in the end um, so there you go Sun SDR2DX fantastic radio catch you later guys